Welcome to CC Biology TCP. I'm Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. Today we're looking at the May June 2022 biology examination. Now please be reminded if you have not yet liked, share, or subscribe, it is definitely time for you to do so now. When you subscribe, please be reminded to click that notification bell and select all. Like this video so it will be added to your playlist. So if it's turned off, you'll always have a copy. Share the video so more of these videos will come to you. These questions are going to be answered one per video so you can <laughs> access the question that you want whenever you want. There's no need to go through an entire video when you only needed to have one question answered. Watch this video to the end and you're going to be seeing a list of other questions you wanted to have answered. HSB playlist, biology playlist, and agriculture science playlist. Just to remind you, you can join my weekend marathon or crash course to better prepare for your external exams. In this paper or this video, we are going to be looking at question number six. We're going to be doing all the questions for you. So you need to follow for more. You need to subscribe and click that notification and bell so that as each question is released it comes directly to you let's hop right into question number six awesome it begins with the menstrual cycle anna has a 28 day menstrual cycle figure three shows the changes which occur in anna's uterine lining during her menstrual cycle figure three Changes occurring in Anna uterine lining and name the two sex hormones which are associated with the menstrual cycle. We just look at about four of these hormones at CXC, which would have been uh, FSH, estrogen, luteinizing hormone, and of course progesterone. But the two that are pretty much typical here are going to be the estrogen and progesterone. On figure three, sketch a line for each hormone to show how the level of sex hormone named in AI changes over the 28 day cycle. Label each line. Now you should have known back from studying that the first peak is going to represent the estrogen. And you want to also remember that the second will pretty much be the progesterone. Now, once you would have drawn them like this, uh, close to this, you should be good. But do not be mistaken to draw in the space below because it clearly says here that you're supposed to draw it on the diagram above. So make use of the resource that is. Anna recently became pregnant. Explain the effect that pregnancy will have on the two sex hormone name. So I'm just looking at what will happen with the sex hormone. So pregnancy will cause a sudden rise in the two hormones. The corpus luteum will continue to produce increased amount of estrogen and progesterone until the placenta takes over. These hormones are important for the development of the baby, birth, and of course, breastfeeding. After the delivery of a healthy baby boy, Anna decides that she does not want to have any other children. This time, she however wishes to have another child in the future. Recommend one suitable birth control method which Anna could use to prevent pregnancy. Now, any of the method that will allow her to have a child later will be fine. We are going with the condoms for this question today. However, we have the implant as well. Now, stay two advantages and one disadvantage of a birth control method recommended. Well, the advantages are it is easy to use. It is readily available. You can have it just about from anywhere. And it is, of course, cheap. The disadvantages are that it will tear easily if it's not properly used. And there are some persons who are allergic to it. So that is also another drawback for the user. Not all birth control methods can prevent both pregnancy and infections from 
sexually transmitted disease. Say two sexually transmitted diseases. When we have gonorrhea, we have AIDS, we have syphilis, we have herpes, we have chlamydia, and the list goes on and on. Identify a birth control method which would be effective at preventing pregnancy and infections from sexually transmitted infections. Of course, that's going to be. Thanks much for watching. Please be reminded to like, share, and of course, subscribe. When you subscribe, click that notification bell so you'll be informed when we'll release the other questions for this paper. Please be reminded to like the video so that it will be saved to your playlist. Should in case we turn it off, you still have access to it. Share the video so that your friends can also benefit from the resource. We want you to leave and comment your name and from where are you watching us. And we want you to watch this video to the very end so that you will be treated with the additional videos from our biology playlist our HSP playlist, or our agriculture playlist. You can join us on the weekends for our biology HSP crash course or for our marathon. As we usually say, study to show thyself approved.